Hey everybody, it's Ryan Casey 9 OZA. And I uh, searching around on Amazon a couple weeks ago, seeing what they had for ham radio. And there was two antennas that kind of sparked my interest. They are made by Two Way Radio. This is a dual band SMA antenna. They also have it in B and C, and it's available in SMA, female, as well as male. Model number is DC143, max watt, 20 watts. It claims to have 1.8 and 2.8 dB gain for 144 and 430 megahertz. Kind of a loop looking type antenna and the other one is also made by two-way radio and it's like a blow-up type emergency antenna which I'll do that one in another video in this video I'm just kind of check out this loop type antenna so I'll go ahead and get it out of the package and we'll kind of look over the construction so this is a SMA male style. They also make the SMA female as well as B and C. It's pretty sturdy. This is copper. I'm going to say it's copper tubing. It's a little piece of copper. Phone will zoom here. And then the rest of it's plastic. But it's nice, heavy sounding. And I bought these to play around with my FT70 and my FT5D. Um, just try to kind of experiment with them. So we'll go ahead and put it on the antenna analyzer and just kind of see what type of SWRs they show. So I got it here on the analyzer. I don't know if it's just because I'm inside or what. As I kind of creep up the band, the SWR just seems to get a little bit high. As I go down, it kind of goes down a little bit. So I don't know if I can kind of tweak this inner little element here and we'll see if that affects the SWR any. Sorry for the wind noise. I figured I'd come outside and kind of give it a little bit more fair test. So same thing on the analyzer. I know this ain't going to be completely accurate compared to HT but it'll be close. So at 140 megahertz we're at 1.4, so it's a lot better already than inside. Let's so slowly dial up. The SWR just kind of creeps up a little bit through the band. So there, about 2.6. Point four, four point three, and then we're over five. I tried to kind of play with this middle element, see if it would do much. It didn't really seem to do a whole lot, so I hate to mess with it too much because I don't want to break the little weld tack there. So I'll go ahead and switch her over to the 440 because it also claims to be capable on there. So now I got it on the upper side, the UHF side of my antenna analyzer. And in my camera focus here, we're at 433.5, we're at 5. And as I creep up the band, SWR just kind of seems to 
go up and down with it. About four, four and a half or so. Again, since this is a HT antenna, I'm not completely sure how accurate it is with this. I tried touching around on the base of the antenna and stuff and see if it changed the SWR. It seems like it just kind of seemed to make it go up a little bit. So pardon the wind noise. But uh, once my HTs will get charged up, I'll try to test it out on a few local repeaters, see compared to like the rubber duck and signal stick that I have that I use with both HTs currently. Just kind of see how it compares, see if it's possibly directional or if that's just kind of the design. So this will be the first part, the two part series, and then we'll go and I'll check out the other antenna in another video as well. Thanks everybody for watching 73s.